um, extra contributions it will be paying, which for me is going to be about £50 a month, which that's going to come out of my pocket basically. Um, and at the end of it, when I retire, um, I'll be getting less in my pension. Um, and over 20 years, if I stay in retirement for 20 years, my total losses will be about £140,000. will go from paying an already relatively difficult £115 a month to around £200 a month. This is the first time that the association has ever taken part in a national strike. Many of you here thought this is something you would never ever do. You believe in the force of reason, but you have decided that you will not be cowed by this government's reason of force. So yes, it's wrong to attack our pension, but it's also wrong to attack pay, it's also wrong to attack jobs, and it's also wrong to attack public services. It's good to see a lot of school students and students here today as well, with a tremendous public support. And I believe, I actually believe that's because people understand that this battle is not just about pensions, it's not just about teachers or public sector workers, it's a battle for our services, it's a battle for our communities, and it's a battle that we must win.
quite simple. If they're not prepared to seriously negotiate, then next time it won't be just under a million public sector workers in strike. It'll be three, four, and five million. And let me just say this in conclusion. Yes, let's have the direct action. Let's have the legal campaign. But what is really going to move them is widespread, coordinated industrial action.